to start our session. Good evening again. Eastside High School community, my name is Gloria Vega and I am the proud principal of Eastside High School. It is a pleasure to welcome you all. Thank you. It is a pleasure to welcome you all to our swing space information session. I am thrilled to see so many of you tonight demonstrating the loyalty to our school and the education of our students. As we embark on this journey today together, I want to take a moment to emphasize the importance of community. Eastside High School, previously known as Woodrow Wilson High School, has always been more than just a building. It is a vibrant hub where students, teachers, parents, and community members come together to create a nurturing and dynamic learning environment. Tonight's session is designed to provide you with detailed information about our temporary swing space arrangement, which will enable us to continue delivering high quality education while our main campus undergoes essential renovations. We understand that change can be challenging, but I am confident that with your support and understanding, we can turn this transition into an opportunity for growth and improvement. Our team has worked tirelessly to ensure that the swing space will meet the needs of our students and staff. We have taken into account every detail to make this move as seamless as possible. We are committed to maintaining the standards of excellence that you have come to express, expect from Eastside High School. This evening, you will hear from various members who will provide you with a comprehensive overview of the swing space plan. We will also address any questions or concern you may have, as your input is invaluable in making this transition successful. This evening, you will hear in closing, I want to thank every one of you for your continued support and dedication to Eastside High School. Together, we will navigate this period of change and emerge stronger and more united than ever before. Your trust and collaboration is essential, and I am confident with your collective effort, we will continue to provide an outstanding educational experience for all our students. Thank you. Thank you for being here tonight, and thank you for being a loyal part of Woodrow Wilson Eastside High School community. With no further ado, allow me to introduce our Eastside High School JROTC for the presentation of color. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.
as well as several trade labs, including construction, medical arts, cosmetology, welding, performing arts, and more. In short, this will be a game-changing development for our city, for our community, for Eastside, generational change for our community. As you can imagine, a major part of this project involves community engagement, input sessions, to ensure that the new school is going to align with the needs and the aspirations of the community. That's going to take all of us, communicate, everybody being on the same page, to get to the success we want to have for our students in this building. Everybody has to be involved. Eastside alumni, Eastside parents, Eastside community, everybody is going to be involved with this process. And so when it's all said and done, we know it's ours. We're committed to working with our residents, our students, families, to make Eastside High School the best learning environment for everybody. While a new Eastside High School is being constructed, let's all work together to make a smooth and successful transition to the renovated Kramer School. We would like to truly thank the entire Eastside community for your contributions, advocacy, and the city's most priceless asset are you. Thank you all. Your voices are being heard. You have a hand in creating what is going to happen. A bright new future for Eastside community, for Eastside High School. A community that, I'll tell you, deserves all of this. Deserves every brick that's going to be built here for your families, your kids, and the community. So thank you all. This process I'm so proud to be a part of with so many people that are stakeholders that are involved with this. So thank you all for getting this going. We're going to see this through. Appreciate it. Let's give another round of applause for our mayor. This time, I would like to introduce someone else who is very special uh, to our district. I would like to call on our superintendent. Please join me in welcoming Superintendent Katrina McComb to share more detail about the new inside high school, swing space, and the exciting plans we have in store. Let's keep it going while she comes up, please.
we want you to be able to uh, interact and be able to uh, share your questions using the QR code. So as we go through the presentation, if you have any questions, please use the QR code that is on your table. But we want to take uh, the time to go over a few announcements regarding the construction and temporary. Everyone say temporary. Temporary. Before I lose you, everyone say temporary. Temporary. All right, the temporary swing space at East Side High School. We want to talk to you about that a little bit more. So I want to start by saying that while we set out community notifications and made announcements at our board meetings regarding the construction of a brand new East Side High School and the arrangements for where rising or current students will attend. During this process, I do want to take the opportunity to meet with you all tonight in real time to address any immediate questions you may have. Next slide. Before I, before I move forward, I'll quickly go over the agenda. I know that E.P. Nelson has addressed the room. I have already addressed the room, but I want you as students to know, and with all of our students, please say our students from Eastside High School, if you are a student who attends Eastside High School, please stand. And I'm looking at you right here. If you're a student who attends Eastside High School, Because we will have a new building 
that is designed to meet the needs of the future of our students. And so, a new Eastside High School will offer expanded opportunities for career and technical education, focused curriculum with the inclusion of several cutting-edge career and technical education spaces. And they are listed right behind me, and these, this information is also on our district website because it's been presented at several board meetings. Our vision is to provide students with practical skills and hands-on experiences that prepare them for success in the workforce and beyond. To support this initiative, the new school will be equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and resources that are tailored to career technical education programs. This includes specialized classrooms, workshops, and labs dedicated to fields such as technology, engineering, healthcare, and more. Our students will have the opportunity to engage in real-world projects and gain valuable experience in their chosen career paths. Additionally, the new Eastside High School has already begun forging partnerships with local businesses, industries, and community organizations to enhance the CTE curriculum even further. Through internships, apprenticeships, and mentorship programs, students will have a chance to apply their skills in professional settings and build networks within their chosen fields. And I'm going to slow down here and take a moment to acknowledge Mr. Jose Ramos, who you can hear over my left, uh, my left shoulder, who is providing translation. So I'm going to slow down. So if it seems that I'm speaking too slowly, it's because I'm trying to remind myself that we want everyone to understand. So thank you to Mr. Ramos, our team, and individuals who have the translation devices. So on this next slide, I just wanted to make sure we update everyone on the different phases of the construction process. So we are currently in phase two. Everyone say phase two. I know it's hot, and that is why we need a new building. But I know it's hot. Everyone say phase two. Phase two. I am not going to tell myself that I choose not to be. But the New Jersey Schools Development Authority has made DIG Architects as the contracted architect of the project. This is the same firm who designed the Camden I campus. SCA, DIG, and the district convened a new Eastside High School working group which meets every three weeks to discuss the design of the building. The district has convened the following subcommittees to assist in envisioning the space and room requirements for the new facility. They are instruction and programming, student supports, facilities and operations, athletic programming, stakeholder engagement and communications, historical artifacts, and swing space and transition. Next slide. So if you take a look at this timeline, you'll see the project schedule for the new East Side High. Please note, this timeline is very high level and is based on feedback from the SBA, or Schools Development Authority, who is managing the construction process. We will go into more detail in a few other slides, but here are some very key points just in case you can't see the slides behind me. In the summer of 2024, this summer, the district will move out of our current location, our current home, which we value, the Eastside High School. In fall of 2024, demolition will begin. In February 2024 through September 2025, the design phase of the new building will begin. From December 2026, at the beginning of December 2026, construction begins. February 2029 is when there should be substantial completion of the new Eastside High School. In the spring and summer of 2029, the district will be able to occupy the new Eastside High, which means we'll be able to get keys, we'll be able to move in, and do all of those things that we are excited to do to get ready 
for our new stay in that new facility. And then in September 2029, we're anticipating the new Eastside High will open for students. Again, that's a very high level um, timeline. And if any changes occur as we move forward, we will continue to keep the board, the public, and everyone here um, updated as to those um, adjustments. That's why tonight is so very important. In addition to the slides, and I only have a couple more to share on the actual screen space, but in addition to that, we want to make sure that everyone knows we invite your partnership, we invite your input. And if you look over to my right, and we will have more discussion about this, you'll see individuals who are seated at the table right in front of the big EHS on the bleachers. They are going to help us sign individuals for committees. So if you want to be a part of the new Eastside High, if you want to be a part of providing input, of uh, giving your input, and that's the students all the way through, uh, alumni, parents, community members, we want you to be a part. We welcome you. We are looking forward to the partnership that it will take in order to make the vision become a reality. The next couple of slides will focus in on the spring phase. So I talked about temporary. I said, you know, let's make sure we focus on the word temporary because that's exactly what this will be. But it is important that our temporary space feels like a temporary home. It's not just going to be a temporary building that our young people and our staff members are working in, but we want to together make it into so starting in September 2024, Eastside High School staff and students will be relocated to the Framework School, which is located at 2800 Middle Street in Camden, New Jersey. And we share this information, so this is not news for most of you, but we want to make sure that everyone is aware of the direction that we're going in. This decision was made with careful consideration and close collaboration with the Camden County Improvement Authority. I think we had a couple of members of the authority here. Jim Lex, if you're still here, from the Camden County Improvement Authority. Hey, Mr. Lex, there you are, right over there. That's the Camden County Improvement Authority has been a great partner um, because they are helping us to make sure that we have eyes on the project in addition to what SDA is providing. So this new construction is just that that we want to make sure that we have developed our own checks and balances in place and CCIA is a critical part of helping us to make sure that everything runs as it should. So that CCIA, the School Development Authority, will work together to make sure that Kramer is equipped and ready to serve as a welcoming and supportive environment for our staff and students during this transition period. So the choice of Kramer as a it's both strategic and it's also forward thinking. Rather than investing in a temporary leasing of an external facility, a solution that offers no long-term benefits to our district, we have chosen to allocate those funds towards renovating a property that we already own. This approach not only provides a temporary home for Eastside High, that minimizes the disruption for our students and staff, but it also revitalizes a building that holds potential for significant future contributions to our community. So once the new East Side High School is built and we move out of Kramer into the new East Side High School, as a district, we want to be a good neighbor. We want to make sure that what we're leaving in the community is something that is going to be a value to the community. And then there can be input as to what that building will become. Uh, next slide. So the current location, just for anyone in here who may not be aware, uh, there is a map behind me. And again, I go down on this when deciding on the location for the new Eastside High School swing space. We prioritize considerations of transportation and distance. If you take a look at the slide, you'll see the distance between Eastside High and Kramer School. Driving is 25 miles and walking Next slide. Space planning for Kramer School. So if you take a look at this slide, you will see the space planning 
Uh, it's important that we are able to think about what the collaboration and input from the leadership team here at Eastside High School, central office staff, our facility staff, our engineers, CCIA, SEA, everyone working together to ensure that the space requirements are going to meet our needs. So we have worked closely again with Principal Vega and the Eastside High admin team to assign rooms throughout Kramer School. We conducted several walkthroughs to ensure we didn't miss anything, and here's what we have uh, come up with. The ground floor will hold, will hold music, band, health and PE, a health and PE office, and a temporary kitchen. The first floor will, hold, will house CTE and special areas. The second floor will house ELA and social studies, and the third floor will house mathematics and science. Additionally, we will be adding an annex with four classrooms on the sides of the building to be installed during the 24-25 school year, as well as a cafeteria and kitchen annex also to be installed in the 2024-2025 school year. You will get a closer look at the space in other slides. SOAR Academy, which is extremely important um, and an important part of the Eastside High community, will be moved to another location during the temporary stay at Kramer because we are just not able to house all of the students, inclusive of SOAR Academy. So we are working diligently and the, uh, the, the team uh, under teaching and learning under Dr. Walker's leadership is working on a uh, plan for SOAR and where it will be and we will pull out the details of that plan uh, at a later time. The self-contained special education students who are currently here at Eastside will be moved to the Camden High Campus. That's a minimum number of students, but we want to make sure that every student has what they need for their educational advancement for the next five years. Next slide, active renovations at Kramer School. So turning our attention to this slide, here's a high-level overview of the plan for renovations and updates for Kramer. This work is currently underway and will be completed in time for student and staff tours of the building prior to the start of the school year. And um, as you can see on this slide, there's exterior and interior uh, renovations that it's important for me to know. I am very much aware, and we all are aware, that Kramer School was closed a few years back when there were schools that were closed in the district um, due to budgetary and other reasons. We have a wonderful opportunity because the school's development authority will be reimbursing the district for the changes and the uh, renovations that are made in Kramer School. So that's not uh, money that we had access to in the past in order to be able to renovate Kramer. But now, because there's a new Eastside High, not only will this community get a new high school, but now the Kramer School will be able to be renovated and the school's development authority will pay for it. So it's not a burden to the district, it's not a burden to our financial coffers, but it is a wise investment um, in order to make sure that that building will continue to um, be positive for the community. So just a few of the exterior uh, renovations, new maintenance with the doors, exterior and interior with the windows above, roof repairs and coating to ensure that the roof is sealed, Repointing the bricks on the exterior to eliminate leaking, gutter and downspout repairs, removal of playground, playgrounds, inspecting and upgraded lighting, landscaping, installation of modulars for use as kitchen and cafeteria. And I'm leaving these for the benefit of those who can't see it. Installation of modulars to be used as classrooms, installation and access card readers, and a phones at front and a phones at the front safety for the interior, renovation of the teacher's lounge, repairs to ceiling grids, and replacement of ceiling tiles in the various locations, that's classrooms, restrooms, and offices, renovation of classrooms for cosmetology classroom, installation of sinks and workstations, removal of bathrooms and old pre-K classrooms and conversion to washrooms for art classes, 
bathroom upgrades and repairs, repairing uh, walls and ceilings with water damage, evaluating and repairing and installing smart boards as needed, evaluation and repair of HVAC equipment as needed, replacement of lights, installation of additional security cameras, moving PA systems from east side high to the Kramer, floor repairs, deep cleaning of the interior, deep, 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 deep cleaning of the interior. And so these are just the high level changes that are being made at Kramer. And the work has already started. The work has started a few months back. If you ride by Kramer School, you'll see trucks outside. You'll see vendors who come in to work on HVAC, to work on roofing. I'm saying all this to say that we care so deeply about our young people. We care so deeply about our staff members. We care so deeply about the East Side High community. And I'm not saying that just to say it, but we're doing it. We're showing it through the action, through taking time to the partner and make sure that everything is in place. Will everything be perfect from day one? Absolutely not. But we are striving for perfection each and every day. And a lot of this work has already started, and we look forward to the journey ahead. I cannot underscore it enough. And if you don't remember anything else, I say enough. Know that this city, this school district, this school community loves the students and the staff members of Eastside High School. And we are not only really saying, but we are showing it through our efforts and our actions, but collectively, collectively working together so that as our students go along and see us working together, they don't know how to do this when it's time for them all in their lifetimes. Hopefully, they won't have to build a new high school here, but they will know how to move a project forward together because they see us modeling for them. So we're looking forward to uh, those renovations. Last couple of slides, on the next slide, you get to see a few pictures of the interior of Kramer School, and you'll see from these photos that the facilities team has done an excellent job. Let's give our facilities team a round of applause. They have been working nonstop, and they are so proud. They are so proud of what they are doing. Um, they are doing an excellent job of maintaining the building, and they have been doing so even over the years while the building has been closed. Although the renovations are currently underway to bring the school up to standards, it will be a suitable and welcoming space for staff. And if you take a look at the pictures, you'll see the painting has already started. Uh, there you see the scaffolding in place. They work on bringing this building to a wonderful place so that our young people will be pleased and will be um, excited about where they are uh, will be learning for the next five years. And on the next slide, here's some additional photos of the building's exterior. If you look at the photo in the upper left and the one on the right, you'll see the parking lot spaces identified earlier for the cafeteria, kitchen annex, and the four classroom annex unit, which leads me to the next slide. Athletics. We are proud, and if you take a look around the school right now, we are proud of the athletic prowess of Eastside High School. The reputation. Let's give our athletic program, our athletic program from the past and the present. We are so proud, and we want you to know that there will be continuity plans for athletics and extracurricular activities. There won't be any interruption. We may have to adjust the course uh, and work with partners and share gymnasiums at existing schools in our district, but there will be disruption and we have um, our athletics committee has done a great job and ensuring that we are planning for that. So all current East Side High School sports and extracurricular activities will carry over to the new swing space. The athletic spaces behind the building will continue to be used throughout demolition and the new construction. Plans are being put in place to ensure continuity of services and accessibility for athletic teams during construction. We are exploring alternative spaces for the auditorium and the gymnasium to ensure continuity in sports programming and the performing arts. And the final slide I wanted to share with you when it comes to summer school and credit recovery, while we will not be utilizing the current Eastside High School 
building during the summer, it's important to know that we are that we are still moving forward with scheduled services, such as our summer and credit recovery programs. Eastside High students will still be able to take advantage of the summer program activities by participating at H.G. Wilson. Additionally, our credit recovery program will transition to our Dudley School building. So there won't be any interruption. Students who need to still uh, catch up on their credits to make sure they stay on track for graduation will be able to do so. And our students uh, who have IEPs who would like to participate in our sending the program will be able to do so with transportation to H.G. Wilson this summer. And on the last slide, this concludes my presentation. And again, as I mentioned earlier, while we are limited in this evening's information session, we have this QR code available for any questions that you may have. Um, and I want to thank you for uh, this time. I thank you for your attentiveness. And there are a few more pieces to our program tonight, the, the information session. But again, thank you all for being here together. We can do this. It is better to do it together. And we remember that we are putting students first, anchoring them in every decision that we make. So thank you very much. Give it up again for our superintendent. Yeah. At this time, we have a special presentation by our Eastside High School Carriers. Give them a round of applause. Hello,
better support the candidacy. And, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the democracy is to better support the individual ability to be bombed. So that means that our last to think the Kansas City School District and Eastside High School for the kids who live out of that and hope for an amazing senior year to go on our new school space. And I can't wait to see that what the grand, our brand new school has in the online in the future. Yes. Take this time right now to listen. 
and Miss Arlethea Brown. Another round of applause. So before I bring up this next speaker, um, I just want to say that this really is an inclusive process. And I know there's some things that may take place that may not be to everyone's liking. Um, I also appreciate, on behalf of the board, the input that comes from the community. Um, and we take time you know, to meet, to hear different things. So please understand that nothing goes unheard, even if it's not the outcomes that you may want to see. So I don't want to underscore that. So thank you. Thank you to everybody that shares. And again, everybody's comments will be heard. I know there are people that want to speak, that want to share some things. Um, and at this time, um, you have to utilize the QR code so everyone will be responding to it. So at this time, I'd like to bring up another special individual, our council president, who is also an alumni of Eastside High School. Amy Fuentes, let's give him a round of applause. Step by step, step, all the process, 
you know, that's going to take place here at East Side. Also, the historical artifacts committee. Um, I'm sure it's a lot of treasures. A lot of um, monuments. A lot of photos. A lot of trophies. Um, going back to 1930, I believe. So, there's also the Student Engagement Committee. Students, even when you graduate, this is June or next year, um, the Student Engagement Committee, get involved. We need your input. And, and you're so... Your values have to, take, have to be taken seriously. We need your input. I graduated from here. Back in 1980, I have fond memories. Now, and so it is so urgent. The word urgency, urgent that we get involved as well. You know, and even those that have been who are graduated, and of course the athletics committee. Let me tell you, I just started the wrestling team, and I was the captain of the tennis team. Um, that's also a good committee. So, let me in closing, is that if you want to talk about the quality education for our students, it begins now. It begins back there when you sign up. To say, I want to be part of history. I want to take ownership. This is my school. This is my community. This is my city. Camden City. So please, please do not you know, walk away, sign up, sign up, and then they'll get back to you and let you know when the meeting's going to take place. And we want to hear from every one of you. Si se puede, right? Si se puede. Yes, you can. Yes, I'll see you. So thank you, everyone. Please get involved. Sign up for those communities. We're going to sign up for those communities as well. Thank you. God bless. Give another round. Thank you. At this time, we would like to bring back to the mic our own superintendent, Katrina McCombs, for closing remarks. Thank you so much for being here. Again, thank you to all of our distinguished guests, our advisory board members, our community members, our students, our staff. We are looking forward to being able to continue to work our discussions and to work together um, through the, the process that has been outlined so well by our council president. So please sign up, students sign up, staff members sign up, parents, alumni, community members sign up. We want to work with you. Thank you.